What in my maths group? Unbelievable. Friday already and the last day of week two. Um, so for our arithmetic um, for today, we're going to be looking at multiplying fractions by integers. I'm just wondering if you remember what the word integer means. That's it. That's correct. Integer just basically means a whole number. So what I'd like you to have a look at is the question which we're going to have a look at first. Three quarters times four. So think to yourself, oh, how are you going to work out that question? And then we're going to have a look at it together before you having a go at doing another question. Right then, so wondering if you're able to remember three quarters multiplied by four. Now what we've done in class before is we've rewritten it out to make both sides of the equation similar in terms of a fraction. So if I needed to rewrite this out, three quarters multiplied by four holes. Four just basically means four holes. So our numerator would be four and our whole part would be one. So it means there's four lots of our whole. Now what we've rewritten it out as a simple fraction, we can now do exactly the same as what we did yesterday of multiplying those single fractions. Three multiplied by four is 12. Four multiplied by one is four. I'm wondering if you've realised that now we've got an improper fraction. So we need to change that to a mixed number. So how do we do that? Well, how many fours are in 12? Well, there is three lots of four in 12. Is there any remainder? Well, no, there's not. So three quarters multiplied by 12 equals three holes. Now, sometimes when we're multiplying fractions by integers, we will just get a whole number. Sometimes you may get a whole number with a fractional part as well. What I'd like you to have a go at now, children, is have a look at this next question. Two thirds multiplied by five. Pause the video, have a go, and then unpause the video and we'll go and have a work out together to see what the answer is. Right, children, well done for having a go. Now, some of you may have done this for two thirds and rewritten five holes as five over one. Now we can multiply the numerators together. Two multiplied by five is 10. Three multiplied by one is three. We've identified that we have got an improper fraction, so we need to change that to a mixed number now. How many threes in 10? Well, we've got three holes. Have we got a remainder? Yes, we have. We've got one remaining. What's our denominator? Well, it's three, isn't it? So our answer to two thirds multiplied by five is three and one third. Well done if you got that right. If you didn't get that right, go back through the video, see maybe where you can spot you've made that mistake. Then have a go at the arithmetic questions and a similar type of question we have got at the bottom here, three fifths multiplied by seven. So have a good go at that and then have a go at the rest of the questions for today. One last thing, children. Um, next time, um, or your next math lesson, it will actually be back in class um, as our maths group, which is a really exciting thing. Can't wait to have everybody in there. You've done such a remarkable job uh, those children at home with your home learning. I'm sure when we come back, um, you've got lots of positives. You're feeling really secure about some elements. There'll be some elements of maths that maybe you need some reinforcement with. And that's what we're going to be looking at when we first come back, is going back through some of this fraction work and seeing where we are, what we feel really comfortable with, what we need to do some more work on. Um, what I can't thank you enough of is the attitude that you've shown with your maths um, from working at home it's going to put you in really good stead for when you come back as a class and I really can't wait for our math first maths lesson uh, I want to see how we're getting on um, I'm sure that we're doing really well I want us to start thinking really positively I want us to start thinking about our jottings how we're going to be checking the answers um, and things like we normally do on a day-to-day -day basis 
Have a super weekend, children. Can't wait to have you in the maths group um, first Monday back uh, for our long session of an hour. So it's going to be a really good um, session. Can't wait to see you all. Bye, everyone.